This is reading lesson number 26. This video is for you if you struggle with reading. I am April McMurtry, a professional reading specialist, dyslexia specialist, and the developer of the Learn Reading Program, and I'm going to teach you to read through 100 videos. It is important that you start with lesson one. I have that video linked for you in the description below. I will be building upon each lesson in order, so it's important that you watch them in order and begin with lesson one. Here's how these lessons will work. Lessons one through 10 are taken from my begin reading packet, and that is available for you next to the number one in the description. Lessons 11 through 90 are taken from my learn reading program, and that is next to the number two in the description. And lessons 91 through 100 are taken from my adult reading class, and that link will be provided in the description next to the number three. If you do not print the worksheets and purchase them, it's okay. You can follow along right here with me for free. But you will need a piece of paper and a pencil to copy the words down. So if you don't have that, push pause and come right back with the paper and pencil. I will have two videos for you each week. You are free to follow along with me here for free, or you can join me at any time in my adult reading class, especially if these lessons are a little easy for you. There I can help you a little more personally. And if you want to join my live adult reading class again that link is next to the number three in the description if you want an online tutor i have some rec recommendations for those for you as well in the description okay let's get started okay here's where we left off these are the last four words on your new words page in lesson 25. the first four we did together these last four i will say for you now to make sure that you read them correctly this first word is section section remember that ti when it's in the middle of a word and there's a vowel after it says shh ti says shh just like the sh and remember o when it comes almost to the end of a word and there's a consonant at the end then that o will change to the schwa sound and say uh that's why that that word is section this word is assertion assertion this word is patient, patient. And this word is animation, animation. All right, so today we are going to be in lesson 26. Our sight word is two, as in the number. This is how you spell the number two with that crazy W in the middle. So if you have the worksheets, this is the time to push pause and circle all of the word two that you can find in here. If not, push pause and read these words on the screen. Okay, your new grapheme for this lesson is H. H is a voiceless sound. There should be no voice when you make the sound for H. It's only air. It's just blowing. The sound for H is it's just an exhale. Make sure it's not ha. Huh. We don't want that uh sound at the end. It's just huh. So when you come to that grapheme on this page, make sure you say the sound huh, and then practice all the graphemes on this page. Here are your phonemic awareness exercises. If you have the worksheets, you're going to separate all of the sounds in these words and then identify where the h sound is or the ah. that is an extremely important exercise if you're struggling with reading if you don't have these i want you to do this with me right now count how many sounds are in hopscotch hopscotch push pause count how many sounds in hopscotch so hopscotch has ah p s Ah, uh, ch, seven sounds. Again, those are, same with me. Ah, uh, p, s, k, ah, uh, ch, seven sounds in hopscotch. So as you go throughout the day, find an object as in card and count how many sounds are in, are, are in it. Um, mouse, count just picking a random object and count how many sounds are in that. That will help you strengthen your phonemic awareness, which is the most important reading skill there is. Okay, here we are on our new words page. We're working on words with that sound, that H sound. So I'll do the first one with you. We're gonna 
figure out what the vowel says first because if you can read the vowels then you have a much better and easier chance at reading the word successfully so we know that this i is going to make it short sound i because the next two letters does not include another vowel it's a consonant and a space which means that that i is going to say i so the sounds are i p and when you push those sounds together it's hip hip excellent okay i'll be quiet while you work on this one All right, so we know that that A is going to make it short sound, ah, big, wide, round, ah. And we know that because the next two letters are consonants. We also know that Ys at the end usually say E. That's why I put a long E symbol there to remind me that Ys at the end usually say E. And when we, when we pencil read that word, we have ah, p. And I only put one dot under this first P. Because when you have two P's next to each other, or two of any consonant next to each other, they're going to make one sound. And we're only dotting the sounds. Okay, we're not dotting the each letter, we're dotting each sound. So both P's you only get one dot. And then E, so happy, happy. All right, try this one. All right, so here we have another I that says I because the next two letters are consonants. This time they're right next to each other, so it will help us to remember that they're on, they only get one dot. So when you dot those sounds, we have I, O, HILL. Remember that the sound for that H can't have any noise in it. It can't have any voice. It's not HA. Otherwise, that word would say HAIL, and that would be a lot more difficult to sound out and read. So it's important that that H only has air so that the next vowel sound can come right into it. Hill. All right, try this next one. Okay, we know the O is going to say O because one of the next two letters is another vowel. We know that E is going to say E eh because there is not another vowel, one or two doors down. Those sounds are H, O, T, E, O, Hotel, Hotel. You are doing fantastic. So do the next four on your own, and I will come back next time and re re read those for you so you know that you said them correctly. Here are your vocabulary words if you want to continue. Here are your word card pages to practice fluency. Here are your sentences. And here is your story. Hunter stole a hog today. Okay, I am proud of you. You're doing amazing. Hang in there and we'll see you in the next lesson.